Need for Speed Payback, prayers have been answered, Free Roam is coming and it's coming to a console or PC near you. Yes fellas, welcome back to the channel and as you probably know already, Ghost Games have released the next, have released the next instalment of the Under the Hood update which focuses on Free Roam or what they call All Drive. So what we're going to do is jump straight into it and waste no further time. Back on January the 1st, we welcomed in the new year by confirming that Free Roam or as we call it, All Drive will be coming to Need for Speed Payback. We're currently racing towards a release for the next update which is currently scheduled for release on February the 13th. So that's the day before Valentine's Day. What can you expect? Let's dive in. All Drive Hangout. Introducing Hangout which will allow you to explore Fortune Valley alongside your friends and other members of the Need for Speed community. All Drive Hangout will allow you to show off your cars and gives you an environment to socialise. This is the place where you'll be going when you want an impromptu car meet with your friends, the place to take cool snapshots of your crew and the place for you to just cruise the streets and off-road. We've also got catch-up packs. A new item is being added to the tune-up shop in the form of catch-up packs. These packs allow you to speed up the progression of your cars, meaning you can take a car from stock to top tier in much quicker time frame. Brilliant, thank you. There will be three different types of packs available, level 6, 11 and 16. Each one will be unlocked once you've reached a certain part in the campaign. Reaching the end of chapter 3 unlocks level pack 6, end of chapter 4 unlocks level pack 11 and reaching the end of chapter 5 unlocks level pack 16. Each pack can be purchased with in-game bank and will cost 71,400 for level 6, 131,000 for level 11 and 180,000 for the level 16 pack. Underglow and Tire Smoke. New variations of both Underglow and Tire Smoke are coming. These new additions will be included in amongst the already existing options and you'll find them within shipments once you wrap up. Available for both Underglow and Tire Smoke will be Steel Blue, Candy Pink, Cyan, Coral and Gold. Scrap all unequipped parts. Oh, this is good. To help improve inventory management, we are adding the ability to sell or trade in all currently unequipped speed cards. Simply highlight a part category and you'll be given the ability to sell or trade in all the unequipped cards within the category. Snapshot Pro Improvements We've made some tweaks and improvements to Snapshot Pro, the first one being that you can now take snapshots while in a takedown sequence. Alongside this, we've increased the distance the camera can move further away from the car, giving you a little more freedom to take the perfect shot. Some minor tweaks were also made to the sensitivity, making movement across bigger distances a bit quicker. Objects in the background have had their quality level increase when you enter the mode, allowing you to take even higher quality snapshots. The ability to toggle dirt on and off has also been included. In addition to these changes, we're also adding new filter options such as cinematic, cool, warm, grunge, vintage, desaturated, lo-fi, vivid retro, infrazone and monochrome monitor. Sounds very Instagram-like. Snapshot Pro will also be usable within all drive hangouts. Front menu improvements. We've made some adjustments to the front menu. Nothing major, just small quality of life improvements to help you stay up to date with Need for Speed and to get into your chosen area campaign or multiplayer much quicker. And there you have it. That is the entirety of the Under the Hood update for February. Well, I think obviously the biggest thing to take from this is that prayers have been answered. The request has been delivered. Ghosts have now pretty much given us exactly what it is that we needed, that we wanted, what the game needed to stay alive, which is the all drive system, otherwise known as free roam. What I'm most impressed about is the fact that it's got this whole social environment as well. I'm really looking forward to the all drive hangout area whereby you can actually just take pictures, chill with each other and have proper car meets because that is something that I personally was campaigning for right at the back end of um, 2016 going into 2017 when I was put into together my plans of a potential wish list in the less build series for the next need for speed game which ended up being payback so it's great to see that really really happy about the catch-up packs as well what i'm most impressed about with the way in which they've structured this is that you don't need to buy it with real cash all you've got to do is use in-game credits in-game money which is great because as we all know it's not hard to generate in-game money within need for speed payback it's pretty easy as long as you do a little bit of grinding so that's really 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 good and obviously you photographers 
photographers out there who like taking your pictures, those of you who are familiar with GTA, Snap-O-Matic and whatnot, those of you who play Gran Turismo and are familiar with the scapes, well now obviously Need for Speed is slowly but surely getting to somewhat close to that level in giving you the opportunity to be more creative. So all in all, I think this is definitely a good update. This is definitely a good look. And I'm about to go and put my bloody game on and get stuck into it because now I feel like playing some more Need for Speed Payback. If it's your first time around here, I wish you a born welcome. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Most importantly, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments in relation to these updates. We have free roam, people. It's coming. Free roam is coming. Surely you've got to be happy about that. Or are you on the other side of the fence in thinking it's too little too late? Either way, I want to know your thoughts. I want to know where your mind's at. Drop it in the comments and uh, I'll try and discuss with as many of you as I can. I'm sure you've all got a lot to say on this. Anyway, in the meantime, take it easy. Peace.